What is going on? Just a few seconds into the video and I'm already seeing some Karen freaking out about a phone call. I don't know what's going on. What's good guys? It's your boy XC back with another video. So the past two weeks have been really crazy for me, dude. I started uploading um, TikTok and that blew up and now I have over 50,000 followers on TikTok, which is a absolutely insane like i i can't thank you guys enough so if you're here from tiktok i highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel because i really enjoy making videos on top of making butterfly knife flipping videos on tiktok so yeah anyway the main reason i'm making this video is because i woke up this morning and decided to go on youtube and i found this video about insane karens freaking out in public and once i watched a few seconds of the video i realized i had to react to this on my channel it was way too insanely stupid to not cover on the channel so yeah let's get straight into it So right off the bat, this lady cannot stop rambling on about a phone call. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I finished the phone call and hang up the phone call. I finished the phone call. I hung up the phone call. Bro, how many times is she going to say phone call? No way someone can be freaking out about a phone call this much. Okay, so in the beginning of the video, I thought they were in a house. It looks like they're in like a coffee shop, like a Starbucks or something. What the heck? She's doing this in front of people? Bro, even if I wasn't the person yelling, I would still be embarrassed to have to sit through that and, like, watch the lady yell. Yeah, well, he's still kicking you out because you're making a huge fuss about it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The reaction of the guy filming is priceless. Oh he doesn't give two craps. And you're me out. And you're me. I, hung up the phone call. I like how the other lady's just calmly handing her a purse. I Bro, there is no way someone could be angry for this long. Like, this has gone on for, like, two minutes now. You said to hang it up! You said to finish my phone call! I did what you said to do! But that was wrong! Now I gotta go in the park and I'm waiting to get I like how she's still going on about the phone call. Like, I don't think she's being kicked out because of the phone call now. Like, I think she's getting kicked out because she's freaking out. Bro, what just happened? She was about to leave and then she she came back. Don't touch it. Get out. Get, the, get out. I got I got her video. I got her video. Bro, I literally thought she left for good then, but I guess not. I got her video. <laughs> And that video ends with the guy locking the door and the guy filming saying that he got it on video. And that was that. <laughs> Overall, I feel like nobody should freak out that much because in the end, it'll work out worse for you. So moral of the story, don't freak out in public. Our next video is another Karen freaking out in what looks to be a bookstore. I'm not familiar with the author. Um, he wrote the misery book. Uh, let me see if I can find it in our system. Yeah, you better. Right, give me one second, let me find the computer over here. Okay. Right off the bat, this lady's already being rude, like saying stuff like, you better, whenever he goes and checks through the system. Like, there's no point in being like that, honestly. S-H-E-L-D-R. 
P-O-N. Paul is the first name. Okay, so with that little bit of context, I think this lady is looking for a certain author out of a bookstore. Either way, there's no point in being like this over a book author. Like, come on. Do you have it? She's also being very impatient. Like, come on, let him take his time. I looked it up in my system, but unfortunately, I'm not coming across any, any of Paul Sheldon's books that we have here in the store. Would you like to see if I could order one for you, possibly? Oh, you should have them here. He's very popular. Which further proves the point on why he would not be in stock. Well, we're probably Paul just sold. Sheldon? Most likely just sold out. Misery. Have you ever read the Misery novels? I'm They're very good. I'm not familiar with Misery. I'm more of a history kind of guy. How can you not know Misery? Okay, props to the guy working at the counter. Like, he's staying so calm and so nice. Like, this is what gives me faith in humanity. You work here? How can you not know? Do you see how many books are there? Like, <laughs> I guarantee he has not read, like, half of those books. I, look, Paul Sheldon writes the misery novels. They're very good. I'm looking for the latest one. What's he gonna do? Pull it out of his butt? Come on. Misery's Child. I really need that to complete my collection. And I really think you need to have that here. I promise you, lady, the book is not going anywhere. Just order it online. It's not that hard. I don't, Misery. I don't have it in the store, but I could probably order it for you. I'm not interested in waiting. Like I said, she's being very impatient. I mean, I have a package coming that's been delayed like two times, but you don't see me making a huge fuss about it. I've already seat? waited a long time for the paperback to come out. Mi Paul Sheldon, Misery's Child. Misery, Misery in France, Misery Betrayed, Misery in Love. You don't know any of these books? Misery like the misery you're giving everyone. But, um, tss. What kind of, uh, of cock-a-doody bookstore is this? What did she just say? cock a -doody? Are you serious? What kind of cock a -doody bookstore is this? Bro, I don't even know what that means. That you don't even know Paul Sheldon? Paul Sheldon? Let me tell you something. I am Paul Sheldon's number one fan. His number one fan. And you're the number one most annoying person on this planet Earth. And you can't be telling me that you don't have Paul Sheldon's books here. Isn't there anybody here who knows about Paul Sheldon? I mean, it sounds familiar to me, but I don't read books too often. Like, like just because people know who he is doesn't mean that he'll be in stock 100% of the time. Isn't anybody familiar with the Misery books? I'm telling you. How can any of you be in a bookstore when you don't know Paul Sheldon? When you've never read Misery? I can't, what is wrong with you all? <laughs> Dude, everyone's like, shut up, lady. I don't understand what is happening! No worries, I man, no worries. I am looking for a cock a duty book! I can order it for you. <laughs> the, <laughs> the guy's still staying calm. He's like, I can order it for you. Or see if it was from nearby, might have it. Ma'am? I think she just realized how stupid she's being. Uh, ma'am? Dude, this makes me just want to curl up in a ball and kill myself. Oh. This looks good. Stephen King is one of our most popular authors. And that's how the video ends. For real though, props to the guy at the counter. He stayed calm through the entire thing and did what any decent human would do. So props to him. So anyway, our last video starts with somebody freaking out about a Big Mac. Yeah, that's the context I have from the little bit that I watched. Yeah, so you could give me, you can give me my money. You can give me my money. I ordered to you. I said, can I have a Big Mac 3-0? A if put you in. About it, maybe I would have done it, but I'm, I'm not even. I'm, I listen. I can. I said. Can I said. I, I said to him. Can I have a Big Mac trio? A put in. A Big Mac trio. A put in. Okay. The only thing I can understand out of this is Big Mac. Like I don't know what the hell a put in is. A Big Mac trio. A put in. And an entree of fries. So you can give me my French fry. You can give me my fry. Give me my fry. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dude, these two guys do not give a single crap. <laughs> Did you see him wave? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What? Oh my god, her voice annoys me so much. Also, the enemy MC-130 above mic isn't helping. Disgusting. 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 
disgusting. I've never seen this before in my life. Look, this guy's just trying to do his job. Why are you calling him disgusting? Like, that's so messed up. So what are you waiting for? My money back! What was he saying? Somebody was rude to him? He said somebody was rude to him. Nobody was rude to him at the counter. Okay, Karen. Nobody was rude to him at the counter. I wasn't even speaking. All I said is I want a Big Mac, a French fry, an entree of nuggets. Nobody was rude. Nobody was rude to him. Nobody was rude to him. Nobody, nobody was rude to him. I like how she doesn't even realize what she's saying. She's such a hypocrite, dude. Nobody was rude to you. Please, no, thank you, nothing. Nobody, she was the one that ordered. She was the order. She was the one that ordered. Nobody, nobody was rude to you. Is that Michelle Obama? Give me the receipts. Here. Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. But nobody was rude. You're fucking rude. God damn it. Now come back here and report your goddamn ass. You stinking. McDonald's, where you're supposed to put a smile on people's goddamn face? Put a smile on my face? You had better not. Yeah, I don't see you doing any better, Karen. Spin my burger. Spin my money. Anyway, that just about wraps up the video. Overall, I feel like these people could have handled themselves way better. Like, they really did not have to freak out in public like that. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I also have a Twitter and an Instagram, at XC, by the way. I also have a Discord server. If you want to join that, it would be the best way to communicate with me. Also, I have a GFX shop and video editing shop. So if you guys want a logo or an intro or anything in between, hit me up on any of my social medias or my Discord server. Last thing, I also upload butterfly knife flipping videos on my TikTok at Exe. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys all have a good day. I'll see you all later. Feel like Peace. They can't afford me. These label meetings are boring. They want a piece of publishing. They want a piece of touring. Not nigga Robert Horry. I'm keeping all my rings. All of that handy pouring. It's probably why you do not have a thing. Feeling like Martin. Luther, but now I don't sleep, I wake up when I have a dream. Oh, he know. Won't fall.